neuf mois. Cap, I have a very important question for you. I have a very important answer, Gigi. You know that video game show Miz has Mr. Undisputed Champ and me hosting? Oh yeah, that homage to Xavier's show? <clears throat> down Up, Down Up is a Mike Mizanin original production that is in no way related to Xavier Woods' inferior program. Did Miz have you memorize that? 100%. Anyway, I can see you're a fan. My doofus co-host apparently has big time Universal Champ stuff to do this week, and I'm looking for a fill-in. And you thought with my cloud and star quality, I'd be the perfect person to draft. You are so sweet. Um, well... Unfortunately, Alfie has me so busy, I just can't take on any more commitments. Really, Gigi, normally I would love to do your little show. That's so generous of you, but I was actually going to ask you about one of your kids from TBD Psycho Sally. What about her? She's making waves down in NXT, and I'd love to get the spotlight on an up-and-comer. You think she'd be any good? Psycho Sally would be the perfect choice. She's smart, she's edgy. You guys would have great chemistry. Then get your pal Alfie to get her to the set. And no friends and family deals either. This is Miz we're talking about. Make sure your girl gets paid. I gotcha. Thanks, Gigi. I'll have Alfie send Sally right away. This is gonna be a blast. Sally, you made it. I'm stoked. Love what you're doing in NXT. <laughs> Thanks. I couldn't believe it when you asked. Opportunities around here are the weirdest, most random grab bag. You'll get used to it. So for on air, do you prefer Psycho or Sally? I guess I'll go with Psycho. Keep it edgy, right? What are we playing anyway? Alfie didn't mention. Right on. We're going to be playing WWE 2K24. Everything is meta, you know. Have you played? Of course. Even though I didn't make the roster this year, there's always next year, right? Honestly, a lot of talent in NXT doesn't, so don't take it personally. Uh, disc space or something, I don't know. But today, you're the guest, so you get the choice of who you'd like to play as in a classic match. So, Andre the Giant... Macho Man or China? China is one of the reasons I got into the business. I'd be so stoked to play as her. Awesome. I mean, it won't help when I'm beating you like a drum, but glad you're excited to be objectively humiliated on stream. Hey, that's trash talk. I'm great at trash talk. Save it for the ring, kid. I'm gonna run and check in with our horrible producer. Then we'll get rolling. Seriously, relax. This is gonna be a cakewalk. Easy money. <laughs> Thanks, Gigi. I thought you'd be... meaner. Just suckering you in before the knives come out.
Sally. Alfie Juniper, super agent to the stars. Alfie, it's so cool to meet you in person after all those messages and calls. Though you're not what I expected. Rarely am, though I feel like I already know you, kid. The way Cap talks about you, oh boy, does she have feelings. What does she say? What's important is that she said you were ready to be the star of this show. So tell me, what kind of on camera wardrobe did you bring? Uh, wardrobe? I mean, I just wore this. That? <clears throat> well, um, it's definitely. Uh, uh, look, we'll workshop it after. The important thing is your personality. I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of what you see is what you get. <laughs> Okay, major workshopping. We'll make it work, though. Here's the really important thing for today's taping. Kid friendly. Kid friendly? That's gosh darn right. This is a game show. Not a game show, but a show about games. You know who plays games, right? Pretty much everyone. I mean, the video game industry makes more money than movies these days. Really? That can't be true. No matter. You know who loves games, though. Kids, children, youths. Look at this set. This is obviously a show for the under 12 demo, and you got to play to your audience. I don't know. Gigi seems pretty edgy for a show for kids. Edgy schmedgy. You go out there and play it squeaky clean. This could lead to big things. Animation, variety. You could be the next purple dinosaur! Just keep it G-rated and watch the language. I guess... Gosh darn it, I'm in! Atta girl! Break a leg! It's the right night for a preposterous match as Psycho Sally, the craziest daredevil in NXT, plays as China, and I fight her with Eve Torres. I'm Gigi, and this is Down Up, Down Up, but with arrows. China was one of my inspirations, and we are here to inspire all of you beautiful children, because you're our future. It's gonna be a long night. Since we're here, I guess I should get your story. What do you want to do in WWE? Gosh, I'm really here to spread joy to children all around the world. You came out of TBD, right? Did Cap and Geneva do that? I've evolved? Tough times never last, but tough people do. is proof of what I always say. My head says ask what that is. My heart says shut your mouth. Nothing is impossible. The word itself says I'm possible. You're getting these off inspirational posters, aren't you? Yeah. Jeez, I'm crow! With a name like Psycho Sally, 
You are nothing like what I was expecting slash hoping for. Are you literally trying to drive all five of our viewers away? Are you seriously trying to beat me with basic moves? Fundamentals are an important part of the game, and even more important in life. Sure, but don't you want to see your character do a top rope run up? <laughs> that would be sick. But we have to cater to the children in the audience. <laughs> with hard work and determination, you can accomplish anything. Ooh, I'm gonna become a mermaid. I mean, maybe not anything, but a lot. You are so negative. Spielen war schon ein Spiel im Spiel. Sal, how you feeling after the big debut? Honestly, not great. Are you sure Down Up Down Up is supposed to be a kids show? I did what you said, and Gigi didn't seem to like it one bit. Really? She walked off set muttering something that was firmly not kid friendly. Okay, so I may have heard some feedback from Gigi. And I think this was all some sort of miscommunication. I met its fences and convinced Gigi to give you another shot. Okay, thank you, Alfie. And now that this is all sorted, I'll relax and be more myself. That just doesn't feel like me, so I'm glad we can drop the kid-friendly tone. Drop the kid-friendly tone? Heavens no! That was right on the money! The miscommunication was that I imply you were ready to go on air by yourself. This time, I'll be on set to help guide you. Oh, hell no. To guide me. <laughs> no need to thank me. I've got your back. Now that I've done some psychoanalysis on your whole vibe. Hey. Uh, not sure that particular catchphrase is my vibe, Elfie. Really? It'd be great for building your brand. No matter, just keep it kid friendly on the show again and do your thing. Oh, and Gigi wants to know who you uh, want to play as. Sure, I guess. Alfie. Is there anyone Gigi has in mind? Some really great options according to my internet search Hulk Hogan, The Heart Foundation, Stone Cold Stephen Austin. They all sound nice. Steve, Alfie, it's Steve Austin. Ah, okay. Well, take your pick. Bottom line, I'm playing a stone cold. No need to be so forceful, but okay. Und da habe ich ja den richtigen für die für das kinderfreundliche rausgesucht. Der ist nämlich aus kinderfreundlich. <lacht> Psycho Sally wanted a rematch, so put on your party hats, because here we go with the match that started the biggest catchphrase in WWE history, Austin 316. The second biggest after today. My clients is the best ever. Really? 
Sally, want to hit us with your dulcet words? I'm still, you know, working on it. No, you're not. Let her have it. I'm going to put you in psychoanalysis. Yes. Yes, you are. to do in my move. Oh, what move is that? Hmm, tell us. The psychoanalysis? This is a star performance, Sally. The office actually prefers superstars. Superstars. I love it. In the final analysis, you're a superstar. I'm going to need some analysis after this episode. Careful, Gigi. Psycho Sally is going to catch you in the psychoanalysis. What? Your big move. The psychoanalysis. You're calling your finish the psychoanalysis? I haven't really settled, Hannah. You have a hot name for the big move. Psychoanalysis. It's great, Brandon. Never thought. Here is your winner.
I don't know what you and your agent are trying to do to our show, but I have not been more embarrassed since, since I agreed to do a show for The Miz. I'm sorry, Alfie. He just tries. He tries very hard. Psychoanalysis? I don't think I've ever heard a person more thirsty to get a catchphrase over. But it wasn't just him, Miss Golly Wiz. Were you trying to tank our show? I wasn't. Alfie said it was a kid show. Really? And you trusted him instead of your own instincts? Gee whiz, indeed. You're just as clueless as your agent. Listen, I'm sorry. Wait, you know what? No, I'm not sorry. Regardless of what went down, you can't just stand there berating me. I'm not going to be bullied by you over my performance on a video game show. That's fair, because we're also on a wrestling show, which means I get to go to my very best buddy, The Miz, general manager of SmackDown, and get him to make us a match, unless you're afraid of a little psychodrama. That's not my catchphrase. But fine. You want to fight? That's what I'm here to do. And you can bet it won't be kid-friendly. Where was that girl on my show? There she is! The woman of the hour! The up-and-coming star! What are you talking about, Alfie? Psycho! Analysis! I got it trending online. I'm already talking to merch and... Alfie, just stop, please. What, what's wrong? I saw you talking to Gigi and figured she was ready to get rid of her dud of a co-host and bring you in full time. Gigi Dolan is bringing me up to SmackDown to beat the hell out of me on live TV for ruining her show. Oh. Yeah. She left me a few voicemails. Miz, too. And that Troy guy. And? Honestly, I could tell from the tone that it was bad news. But Alfie Juniper is a, a good news guy. So... <sighs> this has all turned into a giant mess. Oh, gosh, kid. I'm sorry your dreams aren't coming true. Being a movie star isn't my dream, Alfie. And if it means changing my whole personality and jumping through hoops, I'm not interested. I'm a wrestler. I'm already living my dream. And you're gonna have a big match on SmackDown against one of their top stars? Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess I am. So, all in all, this has been a success? You know what? Maybe it has. I guess you're not the only one who can do a little psychoanalysis. Alfie! <laughs> It's Psycho Sally, the maven of mayhem and madness. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making our way to the ring from the Los These two short-lived co-hosts step into the ring as adversaries, proving once again that entertainment is a fickle business. <laughs> You're telling me. A few weeks ago, these two were trading banter. Now they're trading blows. With how awkward Psycho Sally seemed on Down Up, Down Up, I'm just excited to see her back in the actual ring. Oh, and a head scissor DDT! That could be it. Oh, <laughs> drop kick to the back. Turned that one around. A counter answered by another counter. And Sally is keeping the match at her pace. Gigi from the top, double stop. Cunning 
swanton. Awesome. That focused singular drive of Dolan's got shaken there. Caught the leg. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. Gigi anticipated that one. She anticipated that one. Running Hurricane Rana. You have solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. She had it scouted. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Just a continuous rush on Gigi here. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, just completely off target there. A totally ill-advised decision there. Maybe slight hesitation there caused the outcome. Watch out! They're coming towards the announce desk! The hell are you doing, Byron? Vicious forearm right to the skull. She's pumping herself up, reaching out for that burst of energy. Gigi clearly wants a fight here. Fought back with a punch to the gut. And Sally is countered. This match is coming down to the last second. Someone's got to get back to the ring now. Boom! Comes back into the ring. Excellent ring IQ to see the refs count and return to the ring in time. Referee Vasoidas. Gigi Dolan. What is she looking for? Oh my, the Gigi driver. Dolan landed that perfectly. You got Move on the riff up links. Everyone here is in shock. This is Confidence must riff. be waning as she hits the opposition hard, but still can't get the fall. And she's stunned in the corner. Slowly getting up, but she won't like what she's met with. Big miss right there. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. Oh, here it comes. Standing Spanish fire. Are you kidding me? Incredible. Is it enough? The cover. No, oh, she kicked it out. I thought for sure this thing was wrapped up. Well, stay in your seat. Looks like we've got a ways to go yet. Can't put this one away even after that big maneuver. And a menacing look from Psycho Sally. Ooh, what a forearm club. Ooh, forearm. And Sally is keeping the match at her pace. Gigi has to turn this around and quick. Bionic elbow right to the forehead. Goodness, what an impactful STO. Taking flight. She comes up empty. Running Hurricane Rana. Fantastic. Her energy is fading rapidly now. There is no way this can go on for much longer. Uh-oh. Dolan finding an opening. Goodness. Counters into a brutal clubbing blow. down an elbow retaliation. Forearm to the jaw. Caught with a clothesline. Now Dolan can't stop this momentum. Yeah, but she can't allow this surge to frustrate her. Oh, kick to the face. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Drop toe hold. She's losing some steam now. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Focusing their attack on the arm. And bang! What a punch. She's queuing it up again. Standing Spanish fire. Are you kidding me? Incredible. Two count. Psycho Sally gets the win. <laughs> Here is your winner. They count to me, they understand, they talk to me.